Today in our 2011 Nissan Versa, we're going to test with the Hollywood Rack Strutter Lighter 2 bike platform rack. Now this rack already has a bike installed on it, let's take a closer look and show off some of the features. The bike itself is going to be held in at three different points of contact. We're going to have a hook and loop strap on both wheels down here, securing them into their cradles. Got that one on the front wheel, same one on the back. The third point of contact is going to be up here. We're going to have a padded frame hook putting downward force on top of our bike forcing it down into those trays. Now this rubber padding right here is kind of soft is going to help protect your bike frame from any type of scratches or abrasions. Now let's go ahead and remove the bike. To do that it's pretty simple just tear the hook and loop off. You want to make sure you do the hook and loop before you ad address the hook up here because that's what's primarily holding it down. So you do want to make sure you have a grip on your bike before you do this. To make it easier to unload so we don't have to pivot around this mass right here and then have to worry about maybe hitting our Versa, we're going to pull this pin and then we're going to lift up the hook like that. And again to help avoid having to maneuver around, we're just going to fold this arm down Now that's going to make unloading a lot easier. Now one thing I do want to point out is that with the bike rack installed, you will be able to gain access to your Versa's trunk only if that arm is folded down with no bikes loaded. You can see as I open it, it doesn't come close to making contact with anything. You can still kind of slide in behind the bike rack and grab whatever you might need. We'll fold this arm back up real quick. We'll place that pin. Now let's grab a tape measure and take a few measurements. First we're going to go from the bumper of our Versa to the outermost point of our bike rack. Because with any hitch mounted accessory, you are going to have some added length to the back of your vehicle. We're right at 24 inches added onto the back of our vehicle. This is something you want to keep in mind for any close quarter situations. Because it can't fold up to the vehicle, you have to keep in mind that any tight parking spots, you have that two feet added on. Now our Versa does sit pretty low to the ground. But we do have a nice raise in our shank. So our ground clearance is going to be 16 inches, which shouldn't be too bad for you know pulling in your driveway up a curb over speed bumps or something like that. But you do want to be mindful of that ground clearance so you don't drag it all. Now the closest point of our bike rack to our Versa is about where these cradles are. That's seven and a half inches away. So you're not going to worry about that making contact. Now, like I said, it doesn't fold up to the vehicle, but there is a way we can fold it to make it more compact for storage. We're going to come over and pull this pin right here, and then the same one on the other side. From here, we're going to fold up these two arms, and then replace the pins. You may have to maneuver around, kind of just give it a quick shake to get that pin to slide all the way through. There we go. Now what that's done is that made it more compact. We folded it up suitcase style. This is ideal for if you want to store it in your garage or even if you get to your location, you just want to you know, haul it in your trunk without having to add, have that added length to your vehicle. You can take it out and it's not going to take up that much space. You can set it against the wall, even in your garage or in your house. Now let's come down and take a look at how it attaches to our hitch. We're going to have an inch and a quarter receiver on our Nissan Versa you can see right here. However, if you have a two inch receiver on another vehicle in your household, you can use this bike rack for that vehicle. Just use the sleeve that comes with your bike rack, put it on the end of your shank, and that makes it compatible with two inch by two inch hitches. Then we are gonna have an anti-rattle bolt that when tightened down, takes away the shake and play from our bike rack. We do have a lock on the other side, so no one can remove it without the key. With all that being said, this is going to do it for a look at the Hollywood Racks Treadwider 2-bike platform rack on our 2011 Nissan Versa.